Hey DP, I'm Kobe Copper, and I've got some very exciting news for you today. Our very own mock trial team just got back from New York a few days ago after winning fourth place in the entire world. I got to get the inside scoop. You're watching Kobe's Corner. You guys just got back from New York, is that right? Mock trial. Yeah. Yeah. yeah! And tell me about your competition. What happened? What happened? I don't even know what New York is. Tell me about it. We'll use our hands. <laughs> are we there's, sure? there's thousands of mock trial teams in the world. 40 are invited to Empire. We placed fourth. <laughs> it's more like yeah. this. Uh, so so how did you go, go to get invited to Empire? So did you have to go to... Okay, so <laughs> the top teams from the United States um, are the ones that place high in their state competition or place well in the national competition? Every year. It's not right, based yeah. on one year. You need to have a competitive record for the past five or so years. So Dos Pueblos for the past five years has done extraordinarily well at the county and state level. Exactly. And then Empire also has the top teams from Ireland, Korea, Australia. So those are the teams that win their national competition. So in order to be invited, you need to be like the best in the state or if you're from an international team, like the best in your country. Why are you so good? Great coaches. We have a fantastic yes. coaching staff yes. who dedicate like, a, like four hours each week more, more than that to specifically work with us and they really just want to see us do well and grow so it's incredible what they do for us. Right. And they don't get paid. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, they're donating better. their Gross. time. Neither do I. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> How did you get invited to this? What did you do in the past to make your reputation so, grow to this level? A couple years ago we got second in California so we were invited to the Empire competition last year where we got second so we were invited back again this year. Two twos. Two two, yes. wow. two two and a four. <laughs> two two and a four, and we win every year against San Marcos and County. Knock <laughs> <laughs> on wood. <laughs> they actually would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for being here. Of course. Thanks, Thanks. Yeah, Thanks. Yeah, Thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, now back to me. <laughs> very fascinating. You know, it's a very scary time of year coming up, DP. Whoa. You know what that means. Halloween is right around the corner. I know I am. And I was wondering, what are you going to dress up for Halloween for this year? But instead of asking you directly, that would be boring, I tried to use the process of elimination to find out what you're going to dress up for. I know I probably won't be a coroner. Could be a friendly ghost who haunts a cemetery Or a wacky werewolf who is big and gross and hairy What are you not gonna dress up as for Halloween this year? Miley Cyrus. Good choice. You could be a Martian with nostrils slimy green And who said boo? Was that you? You could be a superhero or his little brother A bat whose brains are oozing in one ear and out the other what are you not going to dress up for, for Halloween? Uh, Miley Cyrus? Just think of what you'll see when all the spooks are free. So what are you gonna be for Halloween? A caterpillar. On Halloween, with lots of creatures on parade. On Halloween, hey, you don't need to be afraid. What are you not going to dress up as for Halloween this year? Yeah, Kyle. Uh, Probably not a cat or like a slug. And all your friends will be surprised to see you in your cool disguise. What are you not going to dress up as for Halloween this year? Uh, I'm not going to be Kobe Crawford. Thanks, neither am I. Cause Halloween's the time that trick-or-treaters come to visit. What are you not going to dress up as for Halloween this year? Shrek. Hey, that isn't you inside that costume there, or is it? Cause you might be a skeleton. Uh, not a football player. I'm not gonna be Brittany. Or a fairy queen, a seven-headed monster whose every head is green. Or maybe you'll be something that no one's ever seen. I wouldn't be a whoopee cushion, cause that stinks. So what are you gonna be for Halloween? For Halloween, for 
Halloween. Uh, this guy. <laughs>